up, you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on a Jeep Liberty can take you to some really fun places like camping and bike riding. Uh, can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's go ahead and break down this real simple hitch install. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Okay, we're here on the driver's side underneath the vehicle in the rear. I'm gonna point out our hitch attachment points. We've got one weld nut in the frame here, two, and then we're gonna remove this existing bolt, put the hitch up, and then put uh, the new provided hardware here. And basically we'll do the same thing on the passenger side. We've got one attachment point here, one here, and the third one down here, so. So before we put the hitch up into place, we do need to remove this bolt from the frame here. I'll be using an impact and an 18 millimeter socket. Just like that. And then one more step, we wanna go ahead and make sure that our weld nuts in the frame are clean so that they provided bolts go through them pretty easy. So I'm just using a, just a simple wire brush just to brush it through, get all, any of the dirt or corrosion out of there. I'll do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, let's get that hitch into place. Okay, today I'm gonna to be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to put this hitch into place. If you don't have one of these, you'll need an extra set of hands. The hitch can get pretty heavy. So we're just lining up the hitch attachment points with the weld nuts in the frame. Pretty simple. Okay, and now our next step is just to get the hardware that's provided. We've got a conical tooth washer. You can see that it has teeth on the washer that's going to go into the nut. The teeth are going to be facing up, so contacting the hitch. And then we're just going to thread these into the weld nuts in the frame. Okay, so now we're on the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and take our conical washer and our bolt and put it in the pre-threaded weld nuts. And today we got lucky. Our weld nuts didn't have any corrosion or dirt in them. So these bolts are going in pretty easy. Um, if, if for whatever reason your, your vehicle has rust or corrosion in the weld nuts um, you can go ahead and go to our youtube channel and uh, search for weld nut repair and you'll see videos on recommendations on how to clean those out or repair them or, or even remove them Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take our impact again in a 19 millimeter socket this time and just snug everything down before I torque it.
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and torque the bolts down to 79 foot-pounds for the manufacturer. I'll be using a five inch extension and again, the 19 millimeter socket. Okay, the hitch is all torqued down. We'll go ahead and get the vehicle down on level ground and get you some important measurements. Okay, so with the vehicle level on the ground, um, from the ground to the top of the receiver tube, the inside of the receiver tube, that's gonna be 19 inches. That's gonna help you determine a, a rise or a drop for a ball mount for your trailer. Um, another thing to note is that the hitch does stick past the bumper about three inches. Um, That'll do it for our Jeep Liberty Hitch video. Thank you for watching. Have fun, be safe, and out enjoy the outdoors. Thank you very much. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.